For 16 years, I've been working with business owners here in Metro Atlanta in helping them grow their businesses. And I find that one of the biggest obstacles for them achieving the growth that they want from their business is the quality of the team that they've hired. Oftentimes, they've hired average people. They do the job, but that's about it. They, they're not capable of helping the owner take their business to the next level. And there are certain things that have to be done by the owner in order to attract those type of top quality talent. And so I thought it would be uh, valuable and beneficial to business owners to create this five part series on the five keys to building your dream team. The first key is recognizing the, the adverse impact average employees can have on your business. You've got, you can't hire average employees and expect exceptional results. It doesn't happen. You'll get average results. The second key is how to market the business in a way that is compelling to your ideal candidates who's probably working for another business and probably happy where they are. This video is around what you can do in your business to create a company culture that's attractive to your ideal candidates. And there are three things I want to focus on today. I want to focus on the company culture. I want to focus on core values and I want to focus on employee recognition. So let's dig into that first one, company culture. What is company culture? Company culture is the feeling with inside your business, your employee morale. It's kind of, it, it's the, it, it's the, the, you know, and how you inspire your team. Does the team function well? Is it fun to work in your company? Do people feel that they are empowered? Do they, and do they work well together? Or are, do they feel micromanaged? Are they arguing all the time? Are they late? Are they indecisive? Critically important, if you want to attract your ideal candidates, you've got to create a feeling inside that business where the ideal candidate would want to work. Again, they're probably working for somebody else and they're may, probably happy where they are. So why would somebody that's happy where they are want to come to work for you? If you can't answer that, then there's an issue. There's a problem and you're going to have to, you got to deal with it. So creating a company culture that attracts your ideal candidate is critical to finding that ideal candidate. The second thing that's also critical is identifying core values. These are the values that you expect everybody on your team to adhere to. It's kind of the DNA of your business. This is at the core who your business is. You embody these qualities. These qualities need to be written down. You need to hold people accountable to them. When you're doing interviews, you need to, to dig into in, during the interviews the, how well you think the candidates would um, abide and exhibit those core values. And then the third thing I want to focus on is employee recognition. It often goes unsaid that employees like to be recognized. I worked with an owner who said, you know, I, I expect uh, great things from my employees. And so I don't recognize them because they're doing what I expect them to do. And, uh, you know, we argued about this on and on again over time and eventually came around to understanding that everybody wants to be recognized. Everybody th thrives on being appreciated. People appreciate the self-esteem that recognition gives them. So he started walking around. His goal every day was to get to do three attaboys, meaning compliment people um, on his team. And he carried a clicker around in his pocket. And each time he did it, he advanced the clicker one. His goal was to have 15 done clicked by the end of the, the week. He did it. And the difference was dramatic. So these are three things that you can do to create an environment where your ideal candidate would want to work. And how much easier will it be to attract your candidates if you have this company culture in place that they can see, they can feel, and it's a place that they want to work? Wouldn't that be great? And you, can you see how much easier it would be to attract your ideal candidate if you had that in place? Beside this video is a link to my uh, online calendar. Click on it and let's schedule a 30 minute no cost conversation and we'll talk about these things and we'll talk about how you can start implementing this, these three strategies in your business to create 
a, a company culture that's attractive to your ideal candidate.